Uh, double triple endorsement test uh, uh, is uh, one of the shortest tests, but uh, you have to pay attention to um, how uh, converter dolly, how the, the second or third trailer needs to be coupled to the main rig. And uh, um, most of the questions uh, uh, ask you about, uh, well, this particular technique. Question number one, with the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the trailer. When you do this, you should hear. Again, if even you don't know uh, how exactly uh, to couple second or third trailer, you need to figure out, uh, well, uh, general uh, situation. You have one trailer and uh, you need to couple another one. You uh, engage hand valve on, you, well, put it on. And now you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the trailer. Uh, and uh, you should hear what you should hear. You should uh, hear the air escape. You test a uh, service line. You test the service line which contains air. So logically, what you need to hear? Definitely air escape. Air escape. You test service line. You, you need to hear air escape. That would be the sign that, uh, well, uh, it, uh, the air is in there. If you don't hear escape, uh, air escape it means something is wrong. That's how you approach to any questions. Okay? <coughs> uh, not many people are, well, uh, really familiar with the, uh, well, uh, uh, details of how to connect a second and third trailer. But what, uh, in order to succeed in the double-triple test, you just need to uh, apply general logic. So, again, uh, you are asked, you, uh, you open service line, so what you need to hear is definitely an escape. Because what it is in the um, airline, in service line? Air. Okay. Question two. You are driving with uh, double uh, trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. Uh -huh. For emergency braking, you should. This question uh, uh, reminds uh, you general knowledge section. Just apply general uh, common sense. Emergency braking. How you should brake in the emergency situation? You use controlled braking or stab braking. Mm -hmm. Because this is an emergency situation and uh, you learn uh, a long time ago that step braking is a approved technique to well use in an emergency situation. Okay, controlled or step braking. Question number three. Which of these statements about emergency steering? Now you ask it something about uh, steering in the emergency situation. And again, um, you need to read. Uh, uh, we encourage you to read uh, uh, all uh, given options because you need to find out uh, where to apply your, your logic. And the right answer here is um, C. If you have traffic on both sides of your vehicle and something is blocking your lane, a move to the right still be best. Again, general uh, logic common sense, uh, familiar, uh, you should be familiar with the situation from the general uh, knowledge section, from your everyday experience on the road. If something is, uh, well, in front of you, um, well, to the right is always the best, moving to the right, doesn't matter, it's double, it's uh, quadruple, it's triple, okay? So, emergency steering, moving to the right, moving to the right, for example, Question, uh, I mean, option B uh, in, uh, tries to trick you. You can almost always stop more quickly than you can turn. Uh, wrong. The, the opposite is true. You can almost always uh, turn more quickly. That's why I repeat, you need to read all given options and then, well, to apply general logic. Okay? Right, right. Moving to the right, still be best in the emergency uh, situation. Okay? Good. Question four. Well, not uh, all of the questions are so long. Some of them are pretty short. Um, the converter dolly air tank drain valve on couplet 
double triple trailers should be all right you need to know what the converter dolly is converter dolly is something which is used to connect uh, well first trailer with the second trailer and um, and uh, well think uh, converter dolly air tank drain valve on coupled double trailer well in what condition in in, in uh, this uh, um, uh, air tank drain valve should be it should be open it should be open because uh, if it would be closed or just partially oh partial open is not true at all if it should if, if it would be closed you wouldn't be able to supply air to the second trailer uh-huh again general logic you just need to uh, figure out what the dolly converter dolly is some some device which is used to connect uh, first and second trailer so definitely it should be open okay question number five to check if the converter dolly is securely coupled to the rear trailer you should Mm -hmm. Now the situation is uh, uh, as such: you you already connected, coupled, rear trailer. Now you should check if it's well connection is secure. What you need to do? General logic, general common sense. Pull gently against the pin of the second trailer. That's exactly the uh, well the technique you use uh, uh, well in uh, in every situation. Gently, good word, keyword which uh, applies here pull gently okay good question number six you are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer how much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel again you don't have to know anything about the double triple you should be able to find the right answer uh, on the spot right here none because when you connect something, well, none of the spaces allow it, okay, between the upper and lower fifth wheel in, uh, in uh, uh, regular uh, combination vehicles, in double, in triple, right? None. Question number seven. You are doing a walk-around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. Uh -huh. So figure out it's already connected and now you, you go around, you walk around, to check and you should be sure the converted dolly air tank drain valves are now what and the pintle hook is now what well in uh, order to uh, answer this question and locate the um, well the right um, answer you need to know what the pintle hook is pintle hook is uh, well something to connect again it's not converted dolly it's hook actually hook hooking the last trailer so if you do walk around inspection and you are ready to drive away what the hook in what position the hook might be it should be hooked should be latched uh-huh and that's the only option which is given to you it it's impossible for the hook to be free all right otherwise you would drive away and you leave your last well the the last trailer uh on the spot so it should be uh latched valves should be closed and the hook should be hooked should be closed should be latched all right that's again general logic question number eight during normal operation the brakes of the double triple trailer are controlled by by what again pay attention to this normal operation you drive on the road it's normal operation normal condition how you well control the brakes of the double triple trailer of course with the foot pedal when you press the the brake pedal with your foot it uh, should engage uh, double triple trailer brakes so normal operation foot pedal question number nine which of these uh -huh, given choices will result in the best control on curves and uh, uh, well that's exactly the question uh, uh, remind should remind you about general knowledge experience safe speed slow to the safe speed before entering 
and then accelerate slightly through the curve. You should uh, have encountered this question in general knowledge and combination vehicles. That's again general safe technique how you control, handle your rig on a road. Okay, slow to the safe speed before and then accelerate slightly through the curves. Before, slow before. Again, if you're familiar uh, with the uh, <coughs> keywords technique, you should remember everything you do, you sh should do before. All right, before. Question number 10. The best way to stop, to stop any skid, any skid is to do what? Is to restore traction to the tires. Well, nothing you do uh, would help you until the traction will be restored. Okay, so, and, well, the other question, how you restore the traction? But uh, you are not uh, asked about this. You ask it the best way to stop any skid is to restore traction. And actually, to restore traction, you need to... <clears throat> Uh, put your foot uh, off the accelerator. Stop accelerating. That's the only way the uh, tires might restore the traction with the road surface. Okay, restore traction. Traction is a good word here. Question number 11. You are driving a set of doubles and the set of trailer wheels goes into a skid. Opa. Which of this is most likely to occur? All right, uh, you're driving, set of trailer wheels goes into a skid. What uh, most likely to happen? What happened? Jackknife. That's what happened. If it goes into a skid, ooh, you will have a trailer jackknife. Again, you are given a, um, a hint. Set of trailer wheels goes into a skid. What happened? Trailer jackknife. That's what will happen. And uh, by the way, uh, as you learned from the previous uh, question, the uh, well, the best way to stop the skid would be uh, to restore traction, right? Question number twelve: You are driving on a slippery road during the day. What does the driver's manual say about how much space you should keep ahead of your truck? And again. That's from uh, general knowledge section uh, question. Much more space that is needed for ideal driving condition. Uh -huh. This rule applies to any type of uh, vehicle, uh, commercial or, or regular car. On a slippery road, much more space than is needed for ideal driving condition. Okay, good. Question number 13. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving a slippery road. Not a good thing to do. And uh, mm, you should remember from general knowledge section also, from combination vehicle section, from air brake section, that in a, uh, on a slippery road, not a good thing to do is to use the engine brake or speed retarder. That's something which is, uh, well, not recommended, prohibited to, to do uh, speed retarder because you might cause a uh, mm, uh, skid. So not a good thing to do on a slippery road, use the engine brake or speed retarder. Uh, they are intended uh, for use uh, on, um, uh, well, in the, in the mountain driving when you're driving uphill, downhill, but not on a slippery road. Okay? Not a good thing. Question 14. When testing the coupling of the double trailer, the landing gears of the rear trailer should be... Again, don't try even to uh, <coughs> uh, get uh, well into the details. Uh, Pay attention to uh, main thing. You testing, you testing, you are testing the coupling. So, what are the landing gears should? Uh, uh, in what position landing gears should be? They should be slightly raised. When you are ready to drive away, they should be fully raised. When you test them, they should be slightly raised. That's the same logic as you used uh, well uh, in combination um, vehicle section. When you test. Landing gears should be slightly raised. Question number 15. You must drive, must drive through deep uh, or flowing water. You should not 
what should you not do in well that situation you should not drive through quickly anything you do quickly wouldn't be uh, good in uh, well again at least in the test in the test whenever you see quickly uh, that most probably not a good thing to do you should not do uh, you should not drive quickly through deep or flowing water question 16 when you turn with the tractor triple trailer combination the wheels that off track cheat the most are okay in other words when you do a turn with your triple trailer which wheels uh, do uh, most uh, <coughs> wide turn curve and definitely that would be the last trailer wheels right last trailer okay if you have uh, three trailers so the third one uh, wheels would off track the most if whatever so the last the last is the clue the last trailer okay question 17 how can you be sure you supplied air to the second trailer how can you be sure how you check that the air is there all right uh, you need to <clears throat> go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off valve to do uh, in order to do what to be able to hear air escape you remember there is one of the uh, the, the, the of, of earlier question you've been asking about this you uh, uh, need to make sure the air is in the second trailer the only way to check it is to open the the line emergency line and uh, and listen if there is a air escape uh, mm, a sound okay that's what you do you go to the rear you open the emergency line and you should be able to hear uh, air escape question 18 before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer you need to again think logically you need to supply air to a second trailer okay so you need to make sure that uh, well the connection line is open uh-huh shut off valves at the rear of the first trailer uh, here a first trailer open the shut off valves uh, at the rear of the first trailer that's what you need to well uh, ensure and then you need to make sure that uh, the air will not escape so you need to close the shut off valves at the rear of the second well um, it would be uh, very important for you to read uh, um, options uh, b and c they uh, very close uh, looks and uh, sound very close to each other but uh, pay attention what you need to do you open the first trailer line and you close the second the last trailer and that's the only way how you supply air to the last second third fourth whatever trailer all right you make sure the lines open for air to flow and the the last one uh shut off valves are closed for you know supplying air not to escape and that's uh how you uh find the right answer okay so you open first you close second the last question 19 when does the driver manual say you should disable the steering axle brake well forget about it of course never 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 disable it's uh, well first of all it's uh, uh, <clears throat> not secure and uh, in uh, most of the vehicle is simply not possible and uh, well the uh, the other thing never is a good word it's one of the um, key word you see never that would be probably the the right answer if you don't know if you should disable or should not disable don't do this never question 20 what is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked pintle hook is unlocked you remember pintle hook it uh, uh, hooks the last trailer second third whatever 
with the dolly still under the second trailer. Uh, uh, just figure out if even you don't know the exact uh, um, uh, situation, but if hook is unlocked, what might happen? The converter dolly, that's the device which is used to connect, uh, you know, first and second trailer with, it may fly up. It may fly up the dolly toll bar. You see, pintle hook is unlocked, and the dolly, this converter dolly, still under the second trailer. So what could happen? The dolly toll bar may fly up. Dolly, dolly is also here. That's uh, uh, another way how you can uh, find the um, right answer apart of just you know applying the the logic. Question number twenty one. You should check trailer height before connecting converter dolly to a second or third trailer. The trailer height is right when? Of course, the uh, right uh, uh, height is when the trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The same situation you experience it with the uh, well uh, connection to uh, coupling the, the, the regular, the single trailer. Mm -hmm. Uh, it should be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Slightly. Question 22. The best way to keep brakes from getting too hot while going down long grades is to do what? And you should also be familiar with that, uh, uh, I mean the right answer, you should use a light steady pressure on the brakes. That's how you use your brakes on a long, steep down grades, or uh, well, especially down grades. Go slow and use only light, steady pressure. Light, steady pressure. Question number 23. You are driving a 100 feet truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The rod is dry, visibility is good, you should keep at least, uh, well, how many seconds of space ahead of you. Again, guys, let me remind you, you have used the rule of one second per uh, 10 feet of uh, your vehicle length. So if you see 100 feet, it should be 10. Now, then you need to uh, uh, recheck it. Uh, it's true before the, uh, I mean, for the speed uh, <clears throat> under 40 miles per hour. So, if it's 100 feet and the speed is less than 40 miles per hour, the answer would be 10 seconds. That's how much space, 10 seconds, <coughs> you need to keep ahead of uh, your vehicle. Okay? 100 feet, 10 seconds, because the speed is less than 40 miles per hour. When driving a truck with more than one trailer, which trailer should be first behind the truck? Again, logically, which you put the first? Of course, the heaviest. The heaviest trailer needs to be put, uh, well, first behind the truck. Question number 25. You are driving at night. You must dim your headlights for traffic. Good speed management says you should do what? Of course, you should slow down. Doesn't matter if you drive a double, triple, a combination vehicles, regular car. If you must dim your headlights, you're driving at night, and what do you need to do? Of course, you slow down. It's again natural <coughs> action. Question 26. Empty truck. Empty. Uh huh. Uh, you need to find the, the right answer and uh, again you should uh, remember from uh, well your previous experience that empty trucks they are not heavy they are not pressed to the road with the load and uh, uh, 34 they might bounce mm -hmm. they may have poor traction because of that they may have poor traction due to bouncing and uh, wheels lock up. Bouncing, poor traction. Empty trucks, they have poor traction. They are not pressed to the road surface with a load. Question number 27. <clears throat> Which of the statements about the handling of doubles and triples is true? 
Well, you need to read through all of them to find the, well, the, the tip for right answer. And uh, uh, what could help you? A sudden movement, sudden movement. You remember everything, uh, if you see sudden, quickly, something which is done suddenly is not good. So, sudden movement with the steering wheel can result in a tipping over rear trailer. It is true for any kind of combination vehicles, especially true for, you know, double and triple. So, you see sudden movement, that's the right answer. It could be easily be tipped over. Question number 28. <clears throat> if you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, Secure it by using, uh -huh, you want to couple second trailer, so you need to secure it, if you see this option, all of the above if available, that's the correct uh, uh, option, the more secure you might uh, be, well, the better, all of the above, if you have trailer spring brakes, use them, if you have wheels, chocks, use them, use both of them, all of them, all of the above if available. Uh -huh. Another situation, you are driving now 100 feet truck with double trailers, but now the speed is 50, you remember? One uh, second per 10 feet of the truck, of the vehicle length, so it should be 10, but because the speed is more than, 100, uh, than 40 miles per hour, <coughs> you add one second, and the right answer is 11. So, always pay attention to uh, what the speed is. So, the right answer to this question, 100 feet truck at speed 50, the right answer, 11 seconds, that's how much space you need to, well, keep ahead of your vehicle. Question number 30. Which of these statements about quick steering movement and double triples is true? Again, when you ask it such a question, you need to read all given options. Uh, with uh, well special attention and uh, mm, um, uh, no, no, let's do it double triples flip uh, flop over from quick steering moves more easily than many vehicles uh, it so, uh, the looks uh, um, very much as a, as a uh, right uh, answer quick steering moves more easily to tip to flip flop over so this is the uh, correct answer because you definitely if you said if you are said that you should apply the brakes at the same time as quick steering movement no no wrong never county steering is easier with double triples than most other vehicles uh, that's wrong counter steering mm, has nothing to do with the uh, type of the vehicle that's uh, that's what you do as a driver uh-huh you counter steer you steer the the um, steering wheel to the opposite direction after uh, making uh, a turn right so uh, when you ask it again uh, true statement about quick steering movements you should be immediately alerted uh -huh. quick steering movement that's not good quick steering movement should be flip flop <coughs> over more easily uh -huh. so you see you're uh, from the very beginning you asked uh, about some uh, potentially dangerous handling situation okay question number 31 converter dollies we already agreed that converter dollars special devices used to, to connect uh, well first and second trailer so something between the trailers and what is true about them they often do not have spring brakes they are actually very simple devices they uh, well might not most of the cases might not have spring brakes spring brakes that's why you have always to check if the air is supplied that's why you always have to use wheel chocks so converter dollies please remember they often do not have spring brakes exactly as the trailers made before 1975 mm -hmm. question number 32 you want to hook your combination to the second trailer 
that has no spring brakes. You see, that's the same situation. To do this without wheel shocks, uh, and you don't have wheel shocks, you should. What should you do? So you should engage the emergency brakes of those of this second trailer. And how you do this? You supply air to the trailer system first, mm -hmm, without uh, coupling them. You just connect the uh, airlines, supply air, uh, and then disconnect physically, liter uh, literally disconnect the emergency line. Mm -hmm. And that's how you uh, engage the uh, emergency um, uh, brakes of the last trailer. And uh, only after that you would be able to actually uh, back up under the uh, last trailer. Okay, let's do it again. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer. And this second trailer has no spring brakes. So what you do, you supply air to this trailer first. And then go to the rear and disconnect the emergency line. And that's how you'd be able to, um, well, <coughs> uh, couple your combination to the last trailer. Question number 33. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? And again, this is general uh, uh, safety uh, rule. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Again, this is true for any type of the vehicle. Well, and of course, especially is true for a long uh, um, double, triple uh, rigs. Uh, you should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Okay. Question number 34. Some large trucks have curved convex or spot mirrors. And these mirrors, uh, you should uh, know the answer immediately. Uh, those mirrors make things seem smaller and farther away than they really are. Okay. So don't trust uh, well only to them because those mirrors convex curved mirrors they may think smaller than they really are question number 35 the crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to cause a tip over over what trailer the rear trailer of the triple uh -huh. pay attention you uh, said rear trailer of the triple rear trailer of the double of course triple the last one the last one and the longer your vehicle is the uh well crap the whip effect which is in plain english means uh, the chance to tip over all right the chance to lose control of your vehicle the longer the vehicle is well, the less control you have of the last uh, part of the combination rig. Uh -huh. So, uh, trouble trucks with trailers most likely to cause a tip over, over which trailer? The, the rear trailer of the triple. Okay? And that's, again, general logic. And that's it. Uh, as uh, I told you uh, in the beginning, uh, this is uh, one of the shortest tests. All you need to do, as usually, uh, just repeat uh, questions. If you made a mistake, go uh, through uh, questions with wrong answer. If not, you go back to the main menu and uh, repeat the questions again, 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 until you are, uh, well, at this level, until you make zero mistake. And then go to the motor vehicle and uh, get your uh, endorsement, uh, double, triple endorsement. Thank you so much and good luck.